Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Libra. Libra, this is your monthly general reading, okay? It's the timing for this uh, monthly is New Moon to New Moon, which means January 13th through the 11th of February, 2021, okay? Now, Libra, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else. All right, let's see what energies and messages we have for you. Libra, thank you, Spirit. Okay. All right, so I won't be holding them up as I'm laying them out, I will tell you what they are in the placements. And then, of course, I always hold them up when I am interpreting them. So, uh, it just saves on time. All right. So, we have the Page of Wands as your situation. Your challenge position is the Two of Swords. And your foundation is the Three of Cups. Recent past energy is Temperance. Your crowning position is the Knight of Wands. Your new circumstance, near future, is the Queen of Swords. What you need to know is the Hanging Man. Your environment is the Five of Cups. Your advice from Spirit is the Three of Wands. And your outcome energy is Judgment. Okay. Give me just a moment here. I do want to clarify the Five of Cups in your environment, okay? What is this Five of Cups in your environment for Libra? Okay. Too many. And I'm going to use a different deck to clarify. All right, Spirit. Five of Cups in the environment for Libra. What is this Five of Cups about in the environment? January 13th through the 11th of February, 2021. Okay. All right. So I clarified this Five of Cups with the King of Pentacles, okay? All right. Give me just a moment. So we do have the master number 33 coming through here. Okay. I always tell you guys, go and Google the angel number meaning because it's going to bring more clarity into your situation. All right. Libra, you have the Page of Wands as your current situation. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You know, some of you are definitely taking action at this time. You have a dream. You have a vision in mind. And you're wanting to go after it. You're wanting to, you know, take that. You're, want, you're wanting to take the vision and birth it into your reality. Breathe life into it. So I see you taking action here. I feel like there's going to be good news coming in here. Uh, a phone call, okay, um, alerting you that there is an opportunity here for you. And it's definitely going to be cause for celebration, okay? It's going to be uh, good times right here for you and your family. I feel like it may require you to move, okay? Um, and this is not what you was uh, expecting. You wasn't expecting to pick up your family and 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 leave and go to another place um but i see you going ahead and doing it because it's such a wonderful opportunity you know it is something that uh definitely puts you in alignment with your life purpose your destiny because you have so much passion for it it's your dream it's like getting your dream job but it requires you to start all over again a new beginning And, you know, with the uh, Two of Swords coming up here in your challenge position, this tells me that 
you know, you're having a hard time, you know, making the decision here. And I feel like it has to do with this. Okay? Your kids may not want to move. Your your partner, life partner may not want to move. Um, I do feel like this is one of those opportunities of a lifetime. You know that if you don't accept this, it may never happen. And that's what's making this so hard. It's like, do it now or, or don't do it at all. And you really want this. So I feel like it's going to be very important for you to be, you know, very outspoken. Be very straightforward. Um, and, you know, make the decision here to move forward with it. Your children will make friends, okay? Um, you know, the, I, I promise you, if they get mad at you, it won't last very long, all right? Uh, you know, they'll understand when they're adults, you know, that we have to make, you know, life-changing decisions as adults. And it's not easy, okay? A lot of times it's not easy because it's not just a decision that is uh, has to do with just us. It has to do with the whole family, okay? So keep that in mind. I feel like once you make the decision, you put your foot down, that's when you're going to become unblocked, all right? Or stuck. You're going to become unstuck here. Three of Cups in your foundation. This is what's driving you. Cause for celebration right here. You know, calling up your friends, your family. You know, um, you've achieved something here, okay? This could be this uh, opportunity of a lifetime, okay? But nonetheless, this is the number three. Threes represent growth and expansion. It also tells me right here, you guys, that, you know, you've got blessings coming your way because you are sending that that joy and that happiness and that energy of, I, I've achieved this, I got this, I did this. You're believing in yourself. You have that self-confidence. That's the vibration you're putting out and the universe is going to match it right back to you. Okay? So... Just be ready for um, things to start unfolding, you know, in your life that you would have never expected, okay? Just let me put it to you that way. Libra, I have such a good feeling right here. You guys have really good things coming to you. And you've worked hard for this. Now you have temperance, the energy of Sagittarius in your recent past energy. You know... This is definitely many of you doing inner alchemy right here. You know, this is you believing in yourself. This is you balancing relationships. I feel like for many of you, you know, you have been manifesting this opportunity of a lifetime. You've been, uh, you know, doing that alchemy, being the magician. Some of you have been working with the phases of the moon. Some of you have just been, you know, communicating what it is that you want and desire. Some of you have been taking, uh, you know, challenges and difficult situations. And you've been turning them into something that's positive that's going to benefit you. And that is powerful in its own right. Definitely have balance between the spiritual realm and the material realm. You know your power. And you know how to use it. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy in your crowning position. Okay. This is you going after your heart's true desire right here. Taking action. Okay. And I mean you're going for it. I do want you to keep in mind. Okay. That. You know. Don't get so caught up in the excitement with what it is that you're going after that you overlook something okay that could pop up six months to a year from now and be a pain in your side okay uh, just make sure that you are uh, taking your time okay and especially if you're dealing with a contract okay that's coming through here from my guides be mindful of any contracts make sure you read the fine print okay I don't see it as being bad, but I just feel like there could be a claw in it or something or, or something that could stop you in your tracks later on down the road. Something that, you know, if you'd seen it here, okay, in the present, 
you then you would have fixed it or changed it and you wouldn't be dealing with it six months down the road okay that's what I'm getting right here all right your new circuit your new circumstance or near future right here is your energy Libra Gemini Aquarius whether you're female or male this Queen of Swords I tell you what um, this Queen has been through it okay she knows what heartbreak disappointment is she knows what loss is she knows how challenges and, and difficult situations can uh, you know just literally tear you apart emotionally physically okay but she okay is tough she's a survivor all right it's that energy of you know a warrior right here I feel like you guys have been through a lot okay and it's gonna be important that you stand your ground speak your truth all right and do what's right for you at this time and for some of you I, I definitely I definitely see you sitting down and talking with family maybe it's your kids maybe it's your life partner and letting them know hey you know this is my turn it, it's my turn right now to go after my vision my dream you know you're either with me or you're not okay and I see you telling them I'm doing this I'm going after it okay and that takes a lot of guts it really does but you know what they're gonna go with you they're gonna follow you they're gonna love you and you know this is something that's meant to be okay this opportunity if this is your message if you need to move this is your message right here this is an opportunity you guys that it's one of those that it was placed right here right now for you for you to to grab a hold of okay not to walk away from I'm also getting something else but I'm gonna wait until we get into the uh, environment here to move further into that okay you know you have clarity about what you want where you're headed where you're going Libra and as long as you you know listen to your your intuition and you know use your mind you're gonna be just fine you guys are very smart uh, intelligent and you know you can't go wrong here you just cannot go wrong all right we've got the hanging man right here in the position of what you need to know you know this is pause and reflect some of you are gonna be coming out of stagnation some of you this is definitely taking a step back to gain mystical empowerment here to see the situation to get to gain more clarity within a situation maybe without having any emotions or feelings over it just removing yourself trying to see it from a, a different perspective a different point of view without judgment this could have to do with another person as well or or people this could be a situation all right and you're trying not to be judgmental you're trying to be understanding and I feel like when you take time out right here to go within your the clarity you're gonna find the answers that you are needing here I feel like before you speak up or you say anything to anyone and you know I'm also getting here you guys this is where you're gonna be uh, I feel like purging giving up bad habits releasing old uh, patterns letting go of anything anyone that is no longer serving you and your your destiny your life purpose okay now several messages here with this uh, five of cups loss disappointment heartbreak sorrow this is in the environment okay for some of you I did clarify it with the king of Pentacles Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy whether you're male or female for, for the ones that is moving this is a family home right here I feel like this home was your your father's your mother's they left it to you maybe you were raised in this home and it is very heartbreaking to have to leave you know move okay um, because there's so many memories here now another thing that I'm getting I see a third party situation right here and you're finding out about it I feel like if that message is for you you already know okay and you do have a bit of scorned energy right here and that's a, that's fine 
you're not allowing it to define who you are. Uh, you're not allowing what has happened to keep you from being able to move forward. Um, yes, it's caused heartbreak, okay? But you're choosing to see what's ahead of you and to move forward. I do feel like uh, with the King of Pentacles right here, this is a very uh, masculine energy, and I am getting a male energy. I feel like um, this is a woman that ha her husband has uh, had an affair, okay, with another woman. And it very well could be why this hanging man is right here as well, trying to understand what has happened, taken place before, you know, deciding what you're going to do next, okay? How you're going to handle the situation. Now, you do have the Three of Wands here, and this is advice from Spirit. You know, Spirit is saying right here, you have foresight. You know, you've got a plan. Keep, continue to move forward. You know, your ships are going to come in, all right? What you tend to, what you care for, what you uh, are creating at this time will bring about a lot of growth and expansion and a material harvest. So continue on, okay? And that is so powerful. You've also got judgment right here as your outcome energy. You're ending a season, a cycle, okay? Make sure you take time out right here, Libra, to before you close the door and look at the difficult situations you've been in. Look at the challenges you've been through. Gain knowledge from those situations. Knowledge is power. Power can never be taken from you and it can always be used in the present as well as in the future. And more than likely, when you take time out to do a review, you're not going to repeat any of those uh, difficult situations because you're going to see them. A mile away coming you're gonna see the red flags because you've done been there you've been through it and you can just feel it intuitively you have rite of passage here you have second chances this is a new beginning for you make sure that you leave any lower vibrational energies that and, and negative uh, energies leave it in that season and shut the door you don't want to carry any of the energies that you've uh, in the season that you are ending with you in this new beginning okay you don't want to carry any baggage with you make sure you honor all your feelings and emotions that's going to be very important all right libra i love each and every one of you with all of my heart please leave me a comment you guys let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation i send you all my love wishes and blessings and i will see you next time bye bye libra